Going to item number 468, I'm going to Councilwoman Craig. This is the MOU with Santa Rita School District for SROs. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to make uh, a comment on um, how happy I am that the Santa Rita School District, which is in District 5, North Salinas, um, took some significant leadership steps in our community to welcome the school resource officers. Um, and I think, you know, one of the things that we as a community have pledged to the residents is that we will continue to improve relations between police and our citizens. And this is just one uh, step towards doing that. So while I recognize that we went to a couple of other school districts, um, I would like to just commend the Santa Rita Union School District uh, trustees for taking a real solid leadership role, um, even when there were uh, small outspoken, outspoken groups that, were, um, that had loud voices. So just would like to acknowledge that and um, happy to move the item. Second, Second that. Councilmember Villegas, would you like to comment on this? Item? Yes, sir. Um, I know that a lot of people worked a lot of hours on trying to get this done. I know that um, you know their work could not. The work that they did, you know, it's um, epitomizes the re, the resiliency of um, Salinas and its leaders because we didn't just stop. I mean, they we had two school districts that basically. Um, you know, succumb to you know fear and misinformation, and when we had the the facts were out there, um, you know, we had a school district that said yes, we do. You know, we want this these SROs there for you know safety and the outreach to our community. Um, Neil Patel, the board member over in Santa Rita, was pivotal pivotal in getting this done as well as well as. Uh, Commander Gomez and Chief Fresse and Dr. Moore, and along with Mr. Corpus as well. And uh, it was very instrumental to make sure that um, the MOU, even though it was approved, it was a living document to where the school district and the police department, they negotiated it. There's a lot of misinformation out there as far as what was being done. Um, in the superintendent from the high school district, Mr. Burns, put out a letter at the beginning of um, September stating that terms were dictated, and they weren't dictated. What happened was, and I spoke with Chief Fresse on this, is that they went ahead and they, you know, through non-formal um, communications, they, the school district board in the high school wanted to have our officers in plain clothes without service revolvers. That was a non-starter. And um, so nothing went beyond that. And, um, you know, and it, it was just a ridiculous. I read the letter. I, I thought it was ridiculous. It was a disingenuous. And all I can say is, you know, hats off to all the people that continued on. Um, the public needs to ask their board members why. I mean, they've had a couple of lockdowns. You had a lockdown last week where a student brought a um, BB gun to school. And who knows? I mean, you can armchair quarterback it all you want. Would that student have had the, the intestinal fortitude to bring that type of um, piece of equipment onto school campus knowing that there would have been a uh, SRO there to deal with them? You don't know. And we can arm short quarterback it all the time. But the thing is, is that those officers are there to have the outreach to our community through the youth so we can better the relationships and turn the page and the community policing efforts that are going forward. That is pivotal in correcting a lot of the ills that, you know, just a perception of the, you know, this versus them type attitude in Salinas. And, you know, I'm happy that this item is going forward. I applaud everybody that had a hand in it to get this done. And MOUs are negotiable. And, they, and Santa Rita got what they wanted in it. And it's a good document. And the kids are going to enjoy this. They're going to enjoy having an extra layer of safety on their campus. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Council Member Brewer, you're next up. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor. I I respect and I support school resource officers because I know these folks myself, people that have worked in our schools, where I have a concern and I spoke to two non-politicians and I've been accused of being disingenuous on this dais as well. 
But when I see Chief Fresa going back to back, one night at one school district, the next night at the other school district, of course there's a lot of misinformation, whatever the justifiable reason. But I think the two, because I went and spoke to the two superintendents, several school board members. Whatever it is, I, I, I don't think we need to fight each other. What we need to do is come together. But there was confusion. I'm not gonna say where, what the confusion was, but what I was told by two superintendents, and I'll say it here in public, they were asking, well, wait a minute, you're, you're working on an MOU with the school district, and then you're going to another school district the next night, so you put yourself in their place. Again, not pointing fingers, but I think there needs to be a clear conversation now that the dust has settled, and I commend you for the work you did in Santa Rita, and I will not go as far as, as, as saying uh, nothing against any superintendent, because they want the safety of their students just like you and I do. So, um, but I think there needs to be a conversation, because we do work for one city. Thank you. City Clerk. But Mr. Mayor, if I may, just real quick, I know I didn't call out for a comment. And I'll have to let Mr. <laughs> speak briefly. Go right um, ahead. Well, I just, I'm gonna use this as an example to also surface the fact, as we're well aware, that there were two other attempts to bring school resources forward. It didn't work. And I have to pay compliment to our department and to our chief. Last night I was at a neighborhood event it was really well attended. Uh, it, was a, it was a fundraiser for National Neighbors, Salinas Neighbors United. And, and the chief reported on uh, our latest recruitment efforts. Uh, the fact that 77% speak Spanish, 70% are Latino, 27% are females. Uh, there is a huge effort on the department of our police department to build a community policing operation. Uh, and I was very, very impressed, as were many of the folks that attended. Uh, you know, Chief Frise has engaged in formal training with our officers to, to embrace community policing. Uh, and, and it goes beyond just coffee with a cop or, or public relations. Deeper, deeper than that, um, <clears throat> where it's philosophical and it's based on the values of the department. Um, I, I couldn't be more thrilled with some of the things that she had shared, you know, in hiring an assistant chief that, that will embrace these ideas because deeper relations and deeper understanding and community policing uh, is, is what Salinas needs. Um, one of the most refreshing things was it was an idea that commanders, sergeants, and officers be assigned to specific areas and stay together as a unit in those areas through the city. So again, that deeper relationship that, that comes about um, ultimately gets there. And when, when, when somebody called her out, uh, she was quick to say that the accountability of data uh, and oversight will be there. Um, this, this is a good step and this is a good opportunity to, to really give our department the support and the pat on the back for steps towards towards a safer city. Go right ahead, sir. I didn't realize I had to mention it to have it pulled before I spoke. A couple things, just to touch on Councilman Brera's point. I was disappointed at number one, you guys dropped the ball on this. Whatever your position was in support or against, the chief took the hits because you may have wanted it or not wanted it, but you knew the community was angry and not one of you stepped up and said, hey, let's have a meeting on this. Instead, through the media, through Facebook, whatever, it's a tiny population that's vocal against this. Well, guess what? Hold a forum. Put a light of that and fill it with your supporters. Topics like this need to be discussed in our community, not argued about by a podium, not argued by two people going to a mic and just talking to each other and not actually listening to each other. When we have issues like this, like immigration, there was forums. And the chief was there taking the hits, saying the same thing every time. Because you guys were smart enough to say, we need to hold a forum on this. We need to listen. But on this issue, you did not. You fought it on Facebook. You fought it through the newspapers. And not once did you actually give an opportunity for people to come together and talk about this. You had a youth commission. Whom, if you asked them, were split 50-50 on this issue. You could have brought a few of those students together and had them speak on this. But you didn't. 
It's easy to say these words through the media and through Facebook. It's a lot harder to bring people together. And until you do, you're just elected officials and not leaders. Thank you. City Clerk. Council Member Barrera? Aye. Council Member Craig? Yes. Council Member Davis? Yes. Council Member McShane? Yes. Council Member Villegas? Yes. Mayor Gunter? Yes.